How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Noyafa network cable and optical wire tester. This is mainly for people who install hardwire network cables like Cat5, Cat6, or optical wiring. Let me unbox this and show you what it can do. QC card, user manual. The English section is 12 pages long. The rest is in other languages. So not too much in order to learn how to use this. We have the main meter. We have all these different functions and I'll cover each one of them in detail. This is something that you can figure out which wire is connected to which. There are some sample cables. You have a straight through wiring of an RJ11 cable on both sides, straight through wiring of an RJ45 cable, and an RJ11 cable with two alligator clips in the middle lines. These cables can help you do a little bit of checking to see if the device is working first before you go and test actual lines. You have a set of headphones. So if you're in an area where you have to be quiet, you can use these headphones plug it into here, then you can listen for which wire is hooked up. There's only one USB-C cable for charging, so you're gonna have to switch off on these. All of these things fits inside the case with a strap on the end. You have the display on off button, change the test mode with the up down button, click OK to enter continuity mode, and then click back to come back out. The USB-C charge port is at the bottom. You use these different RJ45 ports for different reasons. There's a connector QC test and a continuity test. There's a length measurement and flashing of the network lights port. And then on the top, there's a scan where you connect to this one. That's to use with this device. And you can scan where this cable is connected to. On the other side, there's nothing. On the back tells you the VFL output is 10 milliwatts. The cable length test can go at minimum 2.5 0.5 meters, maximum of 200 meters. The type of wavelengths that the optical power measurements can do. 850 nanometers is roughly infrared. And when you go longer in wavelength, these are all infrared as well. Ports can withstand up to 60 volts. And the internal battery is a lithium ion 1,500 milliamp hours. These two ports are for optical measurements, mainly for fiber optics. This is the optical power meter. No light comes out of here. It's a receiver. So it will measure the receiver power. VFL is just an output light, just so that you can shine some light through the optical fibers. Turn it on with the power button. No yafa. Continuity test. Connect a cable to this. Click OK. It will be testing it. It says the cable is open, but we can test it by connecting to this device. And then we can test again. Notice line one through eight are all connected straight through. We also have this RJ11 cable. At first, it seems like it might not fit in there, but it does. It fits in there just the same, it's just not as wide. And again, we can test it and it says cable open, connect it to this device and test it again. One and eight are not there. That's because we're using the RJ11 cable. We can also short it out. This is the center two pins. If we connect this, we see that the middle two pin are shorted out, what we're doing here. So if we disconnect these two and test it again, it says cable is open. Now let's do a scan. We'll go down there and say, okay, you use digital mode for when the cable has a load, it's connected to something. When there's no load and very little surrounding noise, we can use analog mode, connect a cable to here. And we use this device, turn it on. Press scan, adjust the sensitivity with this knob. I've lowered the sensitivity so it's not making a sound. It's right at the edge, but if I get closer, if I want to get really close before it makes a sound, turn the sensitivity all the way down. And if I get really close, then it'll start making a sound. Let me change it to digital mode to let you see what that looks like. I'll get close to the cable. Which cable is which? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Is it this one? Nope, it's not that one. Is it this one? Yep, it's this cable that is connected. So now you know this cable, it's the same cable, and then you can label it accordingly. I have a power over ethernet device right here that's connected to this cable. We can test this flash function by connecting it clicking OK. And every time the network light flashes, we can see it right on the front display here. It'll give you some information on the network connection. We can test the length by going OK. Disconnect the other end. It says all the connections are 3.3 meters. I'm going to change the unit to feet and change the type to cat5. I just measured it with the tape measure. It's 9 feet 11 inches. Let's see what it says. Ooh, so this is overestimating by about 8.9% for me. Let's check out yards and see if it says anything different. 3.6 yards is still 10.8 feet. This is about half an inch short of 10 feet. So it does overestimate it by 
about 8.9%. Let's measure the power over ethernet, click OK, connect to this port. It shows 50.8 volt DC on both pin four and five, zero volt on seven and eight. So this is how it's delivering the power. You can check this to make sure your power over ethernet device is outputting proper power. This QC test is particularly interesting because it measures how well you crimp these connectors. Your crimping cable pushes these pins down. So if it's not making a good contact and you want to know about that and replace these cables, we'll go into the QC test and I'm supposed to have plugged this all the way in, but watch what happens if I plug it in partially. Look at some of the cables are connected well, others are not yet because the spring loaded pins are not making a good connection. So if I push it in a little bit more, more of them have check marks saying they're okay. If I push it in all the way, all of the cables are okay. If I use this RJ11 test cable, plug it in, only the six cables are shown. One and eight are not there, so that's why it's a bad connection. We can even connect it to this one. It says it's okay, but it doesn't matter if it's shorted out or anything because it's actually only testing the connector part. That's what it's looking for. There's an optical power meter. Let's go into there. It can measure different kinds of wavelengths, 850, 1300, 1310, 1490, 1550, 1625, and back to 850. It measures through this port so we can open it up if we have some live optical fiber, we can plug it in here to measure how strong it is. To simulate some optical power is using a flashlight. It says minus 22 dB. So this will give you an idea of how strong the optical power is. And do VFL, a red light emitter. So this is blinking right now. If we open this up, we see this is blinking as well. We can change this to flash every one second or just a solid light or flash two times a second. And if I connect a optical fiber cable here, it goes through the cable just fine. And we can test for any discontinuity in the optical fiber. We can go to the settings. Backlight level goes from one, two, three. Backlight timer is how long it'll take before it turns off the backlight. Max, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. Auto off in 15 minutes to save power in case you forget to turn it off. Restore setting, calibration about the products, product model, hardware version, software version. For optical power measurement, we can go to optical power calibration, it says okay. User value setting, okay. Here we can adjust the optical power just to do any kind of offset so it will make a more accurate measurement. This tracer also has a little flashlight that's right at the bottom in case you're working in the dark and also non-contact voltage. So we can click this, this line right here is live or these sockets. So you can sense high voltages, so you can be careful around those and not touch them. Push and hold the power button to turn them off. There we go. If you guys are interested in getting this network and optical wire tester, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <laughs>